Number 16 from paper 2 of the old higher maths paper 2015. We've got a vectors question with the diagrams with angles that you can probably guess and parallel sides and parallel sides means the same vectors and so on. What does it say? Evaluate P dot Q plus R. Tells you this is a parallelogram and that's an equilateral triangle. Well, first thing you do without even looking at anything would be that's the same as P dot Q plus P dot R. Now, if that's an equilateral triangle, then all three sides are the same length. So the lengths of those sides will be 3 times 3. So it just needs the angle between them. And if it's an isosceles equilateral triangle, that angle in there is 60. So cos 60. Now P dot R, R is perpendicular to P because that's horizontal and that's vertical. It shows it here anyway. That's the same vector as R and they're at right angles to each other. So that part comes to zero. Now I don't know if you need to make a statement for that. That P is perpendicular to R. So that then just comes to 9 times the cosine of 60 is a half. So that means that the whole thing comes to 9 upon 2 or 4 and a half. Now there's three marks for this. So maybe you do have to justify that that's 0 by saying something like AB is perpendicular to BC. AB is perpendicular to BC, which means that P is perpendicular to R. Something like that. Anyway. Part B, express EC in terms of P, Q and R. Now EC travels along this mid, this middle of the parallelogram. Well, if you can't travel across this waste ground, the rule with vectors is, you'll have the same net result, the same displacement by taking some other route. So you can go over the top, or you can go round the bottom. I'm going to go round the bottom. I'll spell it out. I'm going to go from E to A. Just rushing a wee bit faster. And then go from A to B. And then go from B to C. So I've still ended up with the same displacement. Now E to A is negative Q. A to B is with P. And B to C is just the same as R. So there we go. That should do. Unless you want to rearrange it with the Q at the end, just so it looks nicer. Oh, I've said it. P plus R minus Q. Now, part C, given that AE dot EC is equal to this, find the length of this side here. Find the length of R. Well, AE is just Q, so that's Q dot. And EC, you just found, was P plus R minus Q. And that's the thing that's going to equal 9 root 3 minus 9 upon 2. You served your purpose, away you go. So, we've got... Q dot P plus Q dot R minus Q dot Q is equal to 9 root 3 minus 9 upon 2. Now some of these we know already. Q dot P you had in the first bit. Q dot P was 9 upon 2. Q dot R. Now Q dot R are obviously connected. You can figure out the angle. We have to have them radiating from the same point. So if this is R here. I'll have to make it start from where Q starts. So obviously the angle between them is 30. So Q dot R will be, now the length of Q is 3. I don't know the length of R, but I know the angle between them is 30. Minus, and obviously Q dot Q is just things times itself, so that's minus 9. 3 times 3. That equals 9 root 3 minus 9 upon 2. Now let's just sort this out a bit. We've got 3 times the magnitude of r times, now the cosine of 30 is root 3 upon 2. So times root 3 upon 2. We've got, I'll we'll just put this on this side, equals 9 root 3. Now there's a minus 9 upon 2, minus another 9 upon 2, but plus a 9. That lot comes to minus 9, plus 9 disappears. And in this side, there's an awful lot going to disappear now. The magnitude of r is, that goes, so the root 3's will also cancel, so you've got 3 into 9 goes 3 times 2 is 6. I'll just show that working. 2 upon 3 times 9, so the length of r should be 6.